check this out. <laughs> we'll jump, we'll jump. Hey. <laughs> Easy on that pace, man. Hey. That's how I make my money. <laughs> Joking. I'm an internet nerd. I, I hide away in this room. I make my millions. Shut up, man. Room. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Mate, you, check you, out this shit. If you're making millions, you wouldn't be in this room. <laughs> I'm talking about future tense, man. This will be a penthouse one day. Okay. We found this really interesting article. It's called Soaring London Property Prices Speed Exodus of 30 somethings. The basic gist of it is if you're living in London, you're basically living with parents and you're, you're forced to live with parents because the price is just ridiculously high. I, I managed to move out to this place because my parents drive me nuts. The thing is, everyone who's been brought up in London out of our friend groups, literally 95% of them live at home with their parents, including me. You just moved out. Yeah. Well, seven months ago to work on my business and I also realised when I'm away from my parents I'm just able to work faster I'm much more like have more energy because I'm not arguing half the fucking time and and then they don't really understand what I'm doing because they're just so old school traditional oh, get it's, a job it's so a job. it's so awful at home like just talking about anything you're trying to do it's just like hitting a concrete wall you cannot yeah. get through to them even like your dad was like cracking up saying oh he's going to make money from photography or taking photos it's like no nah. He doesn't understand what a vlog is, <laughs> or YouTube even. I hasn't even been a YouTube ever. I was like, I don't my, even know. My dad was so funny. My dad was just so disappointed. He was like, he said that in a really sarcastic way. He was like, Matt's trying to make money uh, videoing dust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how small-minded he is, man. Very small-minded. <laughs> I mean, long gone those days where you have to go to education, and get a degree, and all this stuff. You have 15-year-olds making like a thousand pound a day on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like making like recorders of games and stuff. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, times have changed. There's people who still think traditional way are just being left behind. Internet is the future. There's a net outflow of thirty thousand thirty somethings out into the rest of Britain because it's just a lot more affordable. My parents have four houses worth a lot in London. They won't help me because they're trying to make a whole point because they don't like my career path. <laughs> and I can't afford to buy my own place. So I, what do I have to do? I'm having to like be creative and I'm going where it's the cheapest, further away country, sexiest beaches in the world. And it's the best. It's like better weather, more affordable. And actually, luxury lifestyle. And actually any international city essentially has the same standards. We won't be far from Manila, the capital of the Philippines anyway, but... I can afford it and actually it's somewhere I want to live. If I'm going to pay 10k to, for rent and to live out of my parents' house, I'm not going to, I wouldn't choose London to be honest. For the were, same price we had like a nice penthouse in the Philippines. Like I was surprised by the quality available in like these third world countries. People just think it's like some little fucking dusty village or like there's nowhere to go or some little, there's like mud huts and stuff. I was like, no, nah, there's, there's a full on, really, really nice, no, really nice shut up, hotel. shut up. Beaches mate. That's the main thing. No, man. I'll be on a beach. But are, they tan. are they gonna rob us? I can't tan out Are they gonna mug us? They're gonna look at. They're gonna see me. Hey, you can go anywhere on the street and get mugged and stabbed and shot or whatever. That's just that's just the life. I'm not gonna be living in fear. Oh, I'm gonna stay in my room. That's what my mum's scared of. Like what? you can't go abroad. You're gonna die. Da, 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 da. The worst it's fear. Like, the worst thing would be. I'd rather tomorrow. die doing the fucking thing. Yeah. I like. You know those guys who's just really pissed off of life and yeah. doesn't do anything to change it. Or they say they're gonna change, but then you see them 10 years later and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna change. Even more yeah. pissed. Like, no, you waste your life, boy, mate. Okay, it says- That's okay. I do not wanna be. Oh, shit. Wow, last year, London house prices rocketed, rocketed 35% from 300,000 to 410,000 compared to 16% for the rest of the UK. I mean, I, I wanted to get into the property lab with my parents, but my dad changed his surname from Kachmaracik to Sunpower. So my mum, because everything is in a joint account together, she has the name as the old surname, wouldn't sign anything. So that's just like, that's a middle class Londoner's insight ordeal in life. We didn't buy a fifth house. Fuck me. 
and didn't get me on the property ladder. So I'm out. Yeah, property doesn't make sense anymore. Even as a business model, you buy a property, by the time you get your money back, it's like, it takes years. Because it's like actually living <laughs> virtually as a digital nomad, you don't actually want to buy a place because if you're moving so much around the world, mm. why would you want to stay to one fixed location? If you have a house, you have to, you have to manage it. That's what I never got. It depends what type of person you are, I guess. Because me, <laughs> I love change. This place, I'm bored out of my mind in here. So I want to move, I want to be moving as, as much as possible. Like it, every few weeks I want to be moving to a new place, new car, new people, new relationships. That's just the way I am. Maybe because I'm young, I don't know. But some people, they love to stay comfortable in one little place. They're like a plant. Vitaly loves like this room. He's he been, he does, here, he does gym in here, he eats in here, he has, I had to. has sex I had in to. here. <laughs> I had to stay here. Sort the business out. The main thing, my priority is the business. I'll sacrifice it for it. Now everything's ready to go. Me and Matthew are gonna bounce to the Philippines. I and can't. I can't wait. That's the start. That's the start of an adventure. I don't know. Know where we're gonna be, but Philippines, Thailand, Hong uh, Kong. Uh, check out as Tokyo. As long as my Tokyo. as long as my arm is a bit more orange here, I'll be happy. Yeah, definitely get a tan. Been quite pasty looking for the past few days. People get the point. They get the <laughs> point. <laughs> we got a case study. Okay. Um, Listen up, listen up. <laughs> Gone West. Gone West. Charity worker William Davis now has a garden flat in Bristol after living almost all of his life in London, but finding it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. The rent in London was 850 and that went to 875 when he moved to Bristol, but he did save on travel costs, which was about £250 a month for the season ticket he was using to commute into central London and another £60 a month bus pass. He said, when I was in London, I'd feel like penny pinching all the time. Now I can relax and go out more. To be fair, on a level, we've got five tube lines running 24 seven on two nights a week. That is gonna cost a lot of money. And there's always renovations and there's always new stations being built and rebuilt. Now because they're building that massive, or was it Metrolink? That super fast line, just going straight through it's, middle of London. It's uh, Crossrail. People just investors, they just see like, I'll buy a house, keep it for a few years, gonna make loads of money on it and it just inflates the whole market so much and because of that the rent skyrockets it's like no one cares about the poor people who can't afford it. no one cares it's just the people with a lot of money it's like a little it's, it's like switzerland here london really and i have enough of that i just don't want to be a rat like running around <laughs> I spent at least 4,000 hours commuting. I really know the game and actually doesn't motivate me much. And yeah, being there, seen that, done this, just like, I'm so bored of being in that central line train, just seeing the same pattern on the chairs, the same color of the fucking tube, it's like, I wanna go. What the fuck are we still doing here, Matthew? Get your money yeah. sorted and a shit Two weeks, sorted. that's it, gone. Goodbye room, been amazing eight months and now it's time to go. <laughs> Stop.